Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to be getting ready. I'm gonna be sharing with you a lot of my favorite products right now. And I've got hair products, body products, which this is like a monthly favorites, but we're getting ready and doing it and like mentioning everything. So I hope you enjoy this. If you like it, let me know. I could try to do this more often. Obviously we're in a different location. We're actually at my warehouse in Georgia. So you're in my office right now. We got some lights. I came prepared, came prepared to film. So anywho, we're going to dive on into it. I hope you're excited and let's just get ready and share some of my favorite products. I came prepared with lights and everything. I did forget a mirror. <laughs> so I'm a little, I don't have a big mirror here, so we're just going to have to wing it. Actually, you know what I can do? Will that work? Yes. Okay. So I just put a large mirror up right here. If it falls backwards, I'm going to have seven years of bad luck, like for sure. So fingers crossed. Let's dive into skincare and like prep first. So I still use my regular eye cream, moisturizer, and all of that. But as you guys know, this past year, I have been using a vitamin C. I love vitamin C. <laughs> I notice the biggest difference in my skin when I use vitamin C. I feel like my skin is like more hydrated, less oily. It just feels more balanced and I really, really, really like it. And then I found this one too. So the one I've been normally using is pretty expensive. I think it's over a hundred bucks. This one right here had really great reviews on Amazon. This is the Green Tangerine Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Go look at the reviews. It has a lot of great reviews and it is really nice. So this is what it looks like. Don't mind my fingers. I'm trying to hide my nails, but this is what the bottle looks like. And I do want to say thank you so much to Goodall for sponsoring this portion of the video. And I wanted to show you guys up close what it looked like. It's just a really nice gel formula and it just sinks into the skin so easily. So this one is great for summertime because it is light, refreshing. You don't need that much either. I just do like maybe a half a pump on my hand and I'll just rub it between my fingers first and then apply it to the skin. It has like a really, oh, it smells so good. It has a really refreshing sensation and what I like to do is apply it and then I really just let it sink into my skin. This has like 4.5 stars on Amazon over, I think it's 800 reviews. Oops, my bad. This also has niacinamide in it so it's gonna make you look really nice and glowy. And this is for all skin types. You can use it day or night. Um, you can use it both as well if you would like. The littlest amount goes a long way, so I used probably a pea size amount, rubbed it, and put it all over, and this is how my skin looks. And I swear to you, makeup looks even better. So you're gonna have that glow, it has that niacinamide in it, as I told you guys. But this is a really great option for if you want to get into vitamin C, but you literally don't want to spend hundreds of dollars. This is awesome, and I don't break out from it. It evens out my skin tone. A lot of the reviews, so I don't have a problem with like heavy breakouts, but a lot of the reviews say that it does help with that. So you can kind of go over to Amazon and look at it. This is available on Amazon. It's under 20 bucks, and then um, Prime Day is the 12th and 13th, I believe. That's their best time to get this product is on Prime Day. It's like their biggest sale of the year, so I can leave that link down below if you're interested in it. So this is gentle and effective. It's safe for all skin types. It is a pure form of vitamin C that comes from nature versus a lab. So this not only targets post-acne hyperpigmentation, but it also is infused with calming ingredients like tiger grass to help soothe the skin. So if you have like rosacea like I do, it really does help calm your skin down. I know it's red when you first apply it, but all you have to do is apply it, let it sink. It doesn't sting, burn, anything like that. So if you're wanting to try vitamin C, really incorporate into your skin routine, this is the one to try and it is huge. This is one fluid ounces. Wait, it's 1.01 fluid ounces. This is going to last you forever if you use a pea size amount. So love that. And then I'm going to use my Summer Fridays Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I've been really enjoying this here in Georgia. I use quite a bit. So I like to use about a quarter size amount like that and it's lasted me this long. Like I still have quite a bit of product in here and I like to just rub it between my hands and then I apply it to my face first, pretty much all over, all, all over. And then I drag it down my neck. I usually don't have a shirt on when I'm doing this. So I drag it down my neck and chest, whatever's left over. And again, I'm going to let that sink into the skin. It definitely has that kind of serum feel. It will go to more of a satin matte finish. It is not greasy at all. This is by far, I've tried so many sunscreens. I've liked a lot, but this one is definitely the one I prefer by far underneath makeup. Like it does not move your makeup. It doesn't, it just sinks into the skin so easily. And especially down here in this Georgia heat when I'm sweating like crazy, 
this it doesn't move it just doesn't move and it helps protect your skin from the sun I have been really enjoying this product I think it is amazing and one of those products I will use year-round I am still enjoying my NARS light reflecting foundation I'm about to like here I'm almost out of this bottle that's crazy it's very rare that I go through foundations because I'm always trying new things and I'm going to show you I've been doing a different like method like a different routine with my face products so I'm going to show you that today look at my eyebrow being crazy oh my goodness hopefully it went like that the whole time so I like to just kind of dot it all over if I'm looking over here I have a big mirror too because I don't have one in front of me like normal um, and then I'll just blend this out <laughs> so I told y'all I think in a previous video that I got my third and fourth hole pierced in my ears and my fourth hole piercings came out like during my sleep I guess I don't know but now they're not there and they're healed up so lovely lovely now I just have three so I only have one two three which I'm fine with I have one earring in where I have my third hole because I'm like I don't want this to close up but I'm so bummed that they can I don't know what happened if my hair got caught in them or what but they're gone I'm so sad you can see it just really looks so beautiful on the skin it's not heavy and every single thing I'm mentioning to you guys today has worked so well with the heat here and the humidity like really not had any issues with my makeup or my hair I mean my hair will get a little bit poofy but I don't really care <laughs> okay next up I'll do bronzer and this has been my favorite cream bronzer I got this when I was in Washington and I had to bring it with me because I was really impressed by it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I'm in the shade medium and I love it. So it is definitely more of a matte cream bronzer which is kind of weird. I don't think I've ever used like more of a matte cream bronzer before. Don't mind my brush. I really gotta wash it. <laughs> I recommend using this with a fluffy brush or a beauty blender. Something where you're not gonna be dragging it all the time like really hard on your skin because I feel like with how matte it is if you're using a more dense brush I feel like it's gonna drag and it's gonna like you know have separation and look weird. I like to use this and I'll go in to where I want to bronze and I kind of just tap and very lightly buff all over and it just gives the prettiest bronze look to the skin and the fact that it's matte it doesn't make you greasy or anything I don't know it just really looks nice on the skin it's not heavy all these cream products that I'm mentioning to you as well they look so good underneath powder if you just want to set with like a translucent powder these will pop through and you don't have to worry about them like fading away if that makes sense like you don't have to put extra powder blush on top or highlighter or bronzer if you don't want to now normally i do add a little bit of bronzer which i'll show you the one i'm liking uh recently otherwise i mean i don't have to you know and that's one thing i love about these cream products is i don't have to work super hard with it and i'm not doing concealer yet because i'm doing a really intense blush and i want to be sure that i can really work with it but that's the bronzer it looks so good honestly i i just i love what it does to the skin i've tried this blush many different ways don't mind my nails i'm getting them done this week but i've tried my blush many different ways this one right here this is actually the rare beauty blush in lucky and I love this color, but if you're not careful, it'll get so crazy. So all you need to do is do just the smallest, like that's a little much. Smallest amount on both sides. Take this It Cosmetics brush, which I've mentioned before. This is the It Cosmetics highlight and contour. Just a duo fiber. One that you have a little bit of give. I'm going to kind of go back and forth with these two because I didn't put too much. But you're just going to kind of pat and blend and it gives just the most beautiful flush to the skin and it lasts all day long like I love this color so much and this brush just makes it really easy to work with you're not gonna apply too much it seriously just looks perfect but I always do this before my concealer because if I get a little heavy-handed with this product my concealer will kind of help balance everything out next up I'll go in with the Too Faced to Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and I will apply this and blend it out and then I'll take that same it cosmetics brush and just buff over if there's any excess on here another favorite this month you guys I started Downton Abbey 
and I feel like you guys have mentioned to me before to try this show but I just started it and I'm obsessed with it I'm already on I think season six no I'm on season four I think I don't know I feel like the seasons are flying <laughs> it'll tell me I'm in a new season and I'm like are you sure because I feel like I just started the previous season but it is so good. Let me know if you like those kind of shows because they're my favorite kind of shows to watch. So after I do concealer, I'll take like the brush I use for bronzer and I'll kind of go around that perimeter. And then I'll go in with that same blush brush and any leftover, I'll just kind of press onto my cheeks and then that's it. That's all you need. And if you feel like you need a little more, you can definitely do a little more. One of my favorite cream products I've tried this past month is this Anastasia Pink Diamond Stick Highlighter. This is so pretty incredibly easy to work with and it lasts all day and it shines through powder like you can set your face with the powder and it's still going to shine through and i'll show you that here in a second i hope this lighting is okay but i'm going to show you how this looks so literally you can take the lightest amount of pressure and just kind of graze it up you could apply it with a brush whatever i just use a very light hand and i put it where i want it so i want it like right in here and I'll just very lightly do this. And I know it looks crazy now, but I take that blush brush and I just start kind of blending it out. And it just gives you the most gorgeous glow. You can really take it up in that C motion, do a little blend action. Now this does have some shimmer in it. So if you're not into shimmer, you will not like this. But I feel like for a cream product, it just, looks so good it doesn't move your makeup anything like that you can also like press this into your skin take it up in that c shape and then just blend it's just effortless and it gives you that really pretty dew it's not like greasy or anything this is kind of still along the matte side of things but just the glow that it gives is so nice like i love this product so much so i'm gonna take it down my nose here i'll even do a little bit here i mean i kind of get a little crazy with it because it's so creamy but it's not gonna i don't know like it's creamy and it'll give you a glow but it's not gonna be shifting your makeup throughout the day so if you're oily and you want to look glowy this is the way to do it <laughs> instead of doing like a glowy primer or glowy foundation because this will do it for you and then you just set with powder and you'll still glow through it but it's not oily like it's it's really insane if there's a makeup product you get from this video it is this product right here if you love highlighter you will be obsessed i'm just gonna use my regular setting powder i do have the refi one i tried it and i thought it was cool i just haven't used it again it's like the water one it feels like water on your skin but I just stick with what I know down here in this heat, which is the Too Faced Born This Way, which you cannot get anymore. I know y'all are like probably so tired of me talking about it, but I can't help myself. But you can kind of see how you're still glowing, even with the powder on. But I promise you, you're matte. Like, it's the craziest thing. And then if you want to go in and add like another highlighter, you can. The one I've been using, if I want like an extra pop, is Benefits Cookie. Benefits Cookie is really nice. It's very very intense so there's pink diamond and there's cookie it's just a bit lighter and more of a pop so this is a product where if you did all of this and you're like hmm i still want a little something for going out take just a little bit of this and like dab it right on the high point of that cheek and it just gives you that extra pop so that's what i like to do with it down the nose and I'm going to go ahead and apply this bronzer too. So this is my favorite powder bronzer of the moment, the Haas Labs, I think. Gwen Stefani's line. This is in the shade Level Light 4. Light Level 4. <laughs> Light Level 4. And I really like this for bronzer as well. It's really easy to work with. I mean, I feel like powder bronzers are pretty much to the point. I feel like, honestly, they're hard to mess up, but... This one is forgiving, so like if you're nervous about going in with too much bronzer, this is one I would say definitely give it a try. It's very smooth and just easy to work with, and it kind of just helps set my cream bronzer. So these two have been a go-to down here. They're the only bronzers I have, and I've been really enjoying them. And then if I want to do a powder blush on top, I will take Poppy Pink from Makeup by Mario, which really goes well with this, honestly, and just do a little literally the smallest 
amount. Again, you don't have to do this, but if you wanted to, you can. And you still have the glow, like the glow, it blows my mind. A pink diamond is seriously insane. So, y'all know what I completely forgot? And I just noticed this because my pores look a little bit larger. And I know, that's how I know this primer works. I forgot to put on my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. This will help blur your pores, fill them in, keep you matte. This is a must have. I completely forgot to use it because I was so focused on skincare and like the sunscreen that I meant to put this on and I didn't. So this primer is definitely the best and it will fill in those pores and make you look blurred, I promise. Also been doing a different technique for my hair. So I've been using my Bioionic Curling Wand in the one inch. And my hair is getting really, really curly. Like right here, if you can see that wave, this is all natural wave. I don't know if you can even really tell. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've kind of been showing it. And I wanted to do curls that kind of mimicked that wave. That way I can really just, I don't have to smooth out my roots. Because if I don't blow dry my hair with my Dyson, oh shoot. If I don't blow dry my hair with that Dyson and smooth it out and try to curl it, like with loose bouncy curls, it just doesn't look right. You know what I mean? Like the problem I'm running into now with my hair having a different texture. But, um... This technique that I've been doing with the one inch curling wand is great because it seriously mimics that same curl and it to me looks natural. Like I feel like it just looks really good and this will last me a week as well. Like I don't have to keep going in and touching it up. These little curls last all week and no matter how crazy my roots get they still look like they belong because I don't take the curling iron like all the way up to my roots so and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do my lips keeping it very simple I'm gonna just do Milani understatement lip liner in nude entrance with Huda Beauty this matches this lip liner perfectly it's Huda Beauty and sweet talker sometimes I use a gloss sometimes I won't it really just depends on what I'm feeling take this Smashbox Always on liquid lip in fair game and put this in the center. Sometimes I'll do gloss, sometimes I won't. It really just depends on my mood. But that is basically my go-to makeup routine. Honestly, it's fairly easy. It seemed complicated as I did all that, but it is actually so easy to do. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about all of the hair products that I have been loving. And then I have some body stuff too, which you'll definitely want to stick around for. I already mentioned to you guys that I love the Living Proof Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, but I wanted to just mention it again because it has been my go-to. I think it really helps go even longer without having to wash my hair. It's just been a favorite of mine. So if you have not tried this out, definitely go try it. They have a small sample size and they have the full size. First, we'll start with shampoo. So I love the way Detox Shampoo. I did not bring it with me. I forgot it. But I would have only used it maybe twice being here. So I didn't find it necessary to go buy the actual bottle while I'm here because I have it at home. But I love the way Detox Shampoo. And then I have been using this Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo. And it is so nice. I'm about right here with this product. So I wash my hair probably like once a week. This is what I use every single time I wash my hair. So if I'm using the detox shampoo, I'll go in with this one first, then go in with the detox shampoo after I wash that out and it really deep cleans the scalp. Otherwise, I will use this twice because I always double cleanse my hair because I have lots of hair product in there um, and I really just have to get down to the nitty gritty and get it really clean. I've been doing that for I don't know how long now and it has been the best. So this has been my go-to shampoo. I think it's fabulous so so nice it doesn't make my hair feel dry it lathers really well and you know how some shampoos just make your hair feel crunchy this does not do that and then I've tried two hair masks so one I've used longer than the other I've used this Jisoo I think that's how you say it honey infused hair mask for a while I have a whole other tub at home because this is a conditioner that I use if I wash my hair once a week I will use a deep conditioner I won't use a regular conditioner because I need the you know conditioning treatment and if I was washing my hair like twice a week or three times a week I would use a traditional conditioner and then this once during that week but I don't do that so that's why you only see me use hair masks because that's all I use <laughs> but this one smells so good it is thick it is thick it is thick. It is thick. It's the thickest hair mask I've ever used. You don't need that much product for this one, but it makes your hair really soft and smooth, and it is easy to brush through as well. I love this, but I saw this one on TikTok, and I was like, how good can this be? First of all, the 
Jisoo one is 7.8 fluid ounces. The Wei is 8 fluid ounces, which is hard to believe because they look, it looks so much smaller, doesn't it? This is the Wei one. So this one smells like honey, like it's supposed to because it's honey. Oh my god, this smells so good. It smells so good and the packaging is really just beautiful. But this Wei one is a little bit more. This is the Wei fine to medium hair treatment mask. So I do have a lot of hair, but the actual strands of my hair are pretty fine. So I always go to the fine medium hair. Like it's not coarse right now. I'm sure when all the curls get to the ends, it'll be coarse. I really like this product. I've only used it a couple times. The smell of all the way products is so good. I've also loved her body wash, the Melrose one. I've been using that. I didn't bring it because I was like, well, I want to include it, but you know, you don't have to go buy an expensive body wash, you know? I've just been enjoying it. This smells incredible. So they both are great, like out of the shower. They both make your hair feel really, really good, smooth. But I'm leaning more towards liking this one because when I let my hair air dry, it is way less frizzy. Well, I shouldn't say way. My hair's not super frizzy when I use this one, but I don't know. It's just not as frizzy with this one if I let it air dry. Like, it's still very smooth and hydrated, and I'm not like, like, oh, I need to take something to that really quickly to smooth it out. I have only used this when I let my hair air dry. I haven't used it when I blow dry, and I feel like this will make my hair extra smooth when I blow dry. Really like this one. If I had to pick between the two, I like both, but I really like this one. I know the girl said... You could smell it after you blow dry your hair. I don't know if I agree with that because I let my hair air dry and this isn't like super potent in my hair. Loving those as well as this Way hair oil. You guys, this is so, so good. The thinner formula that I feel like most oils are and it does not weigh down my hair. I use half a pump on my hand. This is gonna last you well. It's 0.45 ounces. It seriously smooths everything out without making it look like you put oil in your hair. Like sometimes it can look just so heavy and kind of piecey. This does not do that. I don't know, Way really, she knows what she's doing. Jen, she knows what she's doing with these products. I do still wanna shout out these products because I was using these products constantly and I still am when I get out of the shower, but this one I used to let my hair air dry. I didn't use it last night, but it really does help kind of define those curls. It's the Day Cactus Fruit in One Styling Cream. It says it smooths while styling, blow dry prep, and defines curls. This will make your hair really nice and soft when you blow dry it. Uh, but the one thing I noticed the most about this is if I do let my hair air dry with this product, my curls kind of just like form up a little bit more and it smells really good. I want to try some more stuff from this brand. Oh my gosh, it has the cutest packaging. It's vegan, no sulfates, paraben, plethlates, synthetic colors, it's cruelty free. And then I just had to shout out this one too because if you have really tangly hair, you're going to be obsessed with this. I don't know if my coupon code still works for this product, but you can go check it out. It's the In Common Magic Mist. It's a universal elixir, and it says that it instantly revitalizes, moisturizes, and transforms your mane. It just really helps if you have very tangly hair. I, like I said, my strands of my hair are fine, and I feel like they just mingle with each other and get so tangled. This is a must-have. And then it does still have that heat protectant to help protect from the heat, like of the blow dryer, all that stuff, and it smells like salon, like, oh. It's so good, but I'll see if my coupon code works. It probably, it might have expired already, but if not, I'll leave it down below. And now we're gonna get onto body. Okay, body is our last category for this one, and I've got quite a few. So this is the, don't mind how dirty it is, this is the Loving Tan Deluxe Tan Remover, the Self Tan Removing Priming Gel. This is so nice to remove stubborn self tanner. Like if you are just looking like a scaly hot mess, which happens with all self tanners, like I don't know of one that just honestly fades off like a dream, truly. I just don't know of one. But there are some that look more scaly, weird than others. All you have to do is put this on, let it dry. I, I let mine sit for like 10 minutes and then you go in the shower and you use an exfoliating mitt and exfoliate it all off. And it just kind of balls up and falls off the skin. It's so good. And with this product, I did ask them, so I do have a coupon code with them. I'll leave it below, but I had asked them because it was for a free self-tanning mitt, and I decided to go ahead and get it changed to a free exfoliating mitt. If you buy this product and you want to try it out, you'll get the exfoliating mitt to go with it, which would have been another purchase because I think you can get this at Ulta. Uh, but you don't get the free mint with it. So if you want to get this, my code does work to where you'll get this product if you decide to buy it. And then you get the free exfoliating mint. So that way you have what you need to get yourself tan off, you know? So we kind of altered that a little bit. We might change it in the future, but for now, 
I think you'll love having the exfoliating bit more with it and using this product because they work so well together. And then I do have two body products. So I'm going to kind of show you on my body. So this is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. This is a nice hydrating body cream, but it's not greasy like for throughout the day. I have been really enjoying this. So I've been applying it every day. It gives your skin this gorgeous sheen. I don't know if you'll be able to really tell. But it is just so beautiful on the skin. There is like the slightest shimmer in there, the slightest shimmer in there, but it, it makes you glow. Like it's so pretty. It does dry down. So once you apply it, I know it'll feel like, oh no, this is not going to dry down, but it absolutely will. And I'm telling you, it's like the most micro fine and it smells good. It's the most micro fine shimmer. I don't think you'd even be able to tell on camera. That's what gives you that really pretty like glow to the skin. What I like to do, so this is like my favorite that I've used every day for moisturizing my body and I just, I love the added shimmer. I love it. But if you like a little more, oh, but if you like, you can kind of see on my hand how glowy that is. Can you tell? Oh my God, it's so good. But if you like a little more, like if you like using um, body highlighters and things like that. If you're going to an event, honestly, I've used this every day because it has SPF 40 and I use this all over my legs, all over my chest, all over my arms. You will get the most intense glow from this product. It's from Super Goop. This is called Glow Screen Body. It's SPF 40 and it's water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes, but I absolutely love this product. I'll apply it all over. You will get a shimmer with this product. This is not subtle like the Fenty Beauty one. This one is you're gonna glow. You're gonna be glowing. But it looks really great in pictures and all of that. And the reason why I love this is normally I wouldn't take the extra step to apply this if it didn't have that sunscreen in it. Like the sunscreen is really what makes it. And I feel like it's just an easy way to apply your sunscreen to your legs in different places every day that you probably wouldn't normally think of and you get a really pretty, pretty glow out of it. So I don't know, just the, look at that shine that my skin has and it feels so good. I just, I highly recommend it. This is a great body cream for every day. And then if you want the extra sun protection and you don't mind the glow, oh, get this. Your legs will look, oh, incredible. This is an expensive perfume. It is expensive. And the Nordstrom anniversary sale going on right now, they do have a two pack that you can get um, for this perfume. So it is, it is a really great deal. I'm not buying it because I have a lot of this left, but you only need like one spritz of this product. It smells so good. In a video a really long time ago, I love Sari, talked about this product and I ended up buying it and it smells so good and it lasts all day. It is a freaking phenomenal perfume. Well worth your money and it's not going to fade away throughout the day at all, but they do have that sale on Nordstrom, which I'll link it below. Like I said, it is very expensive, but it is a great perfume. If you're a perfume junkie or even if you're just looking for your one signature scent, like this, this is that for me. Like I've been using it every day, one squirt and done. It's incredible, but just wanted to mention that because it has been a favorite. It's just high priced for perfume. Anywho, and I'll also leave the notes for that below because you just have to read it and see if like it fits with the scents that you like, but it's great. So anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my favorites in this video. This is probably so long. Uh, like I said, I'll leave this down below. This vitamin C from Green Tangerine. They're doing that sale for Prime Day. That's their biggest sale of the year. So I'll leave that below. If you want to check out a vitamin C and get that incorporated into your skincare routine, I'll leave everything else down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.